Hello everyone and welcome back into my another lecture. Dear friends, we are discussing the new model question paper uh, for the CSC stream students, uh, the mathematics subject. Okay, so today I will be ex explaining model second, question number 3a. Okay, it is about the joint probability distribution. At the last, probably I have explained this uh, joint probability distribution in one of my lectures. You can go through and uh, watch that. And today I will just brush up and uh, let me remind you people how to solve this uh, joint probability distribution. Okay. So uh, the joint probability distribution of this uh, discrete random variables x and y are as follows. This is the probability distribution table. It is given in the problem. What we have to determine? Determine the marginal distribution of x and y. Show that x and y are dependents. Okay. So let uh, let me tell you how to solve this particular question. First of all, what is the given? X value is given, and these are the y values. Okay. So x one is one, and x two is two. Okay. Y one is minus three. Y two is two. Y 3 is 4. These are the respective probabilities. P11 is equal to 0 0.1, P12 is 0 0.2, P13 is equal to 0 0.2. Okay, this is first row, first column, first row, second column, first row, third column. Okay, that is why I am writing it. Uh, that is P11, P12, P13. P21 is 0 0.3 and P22 uh, is 0 0.1 and P23 is 0 0.1. Okay, these are all the respective probabilities for the given values. Now, the joint uh, distribution table is as follows. So first of all, write down this table again up to this one. Okay, then you need to sum up these terms. These probabilities you need to sum up in the row wise. So 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 is equal to 0 0.5. Let me call it f of xi. Okay. Next is uh, 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1, which is again a 0 0.5. Okay. Now g of yi, you should add column wise. Okay, the probabilities 0 0.1 plus 0 0.3 is equal to 0 0.4. 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.3. 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.3. Okay, and you all so you already know sum of the probabilities is always equal to 1. So 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 is equal to 1. 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, it is again a 1. Okay, so it is balanced. Now you need to calculate the marginal distribution. So let me tell you how to write down the margin marginal distribution over here, right? So this is your x value. See here. This is where x value is 1 and 2. Take down xi is equal to 1, 2. And take its respect summation values that is 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 is f of xi, 0 0.5. Okay, this is the marginal distribution table for xi. And for yi, take the y values minus 3, 2, 4, minus 3, 2, 4. And f of yi is respectively here 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.1. Sorry, 0 0.3. 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. This is your marginal distribution table for x and y over here, right? Now, what you need to calculate that is expectation of x, expectation of y in order to uh, show that it is in the question show that x and y are dependent. We need to approach for the covariance. So uh, by calculating these values only then after we can calculate covariance, then we can check that it is dependent or independent. Okay. So let me proceed with uh, the expectation of x. So expectation is equal to summation of xi into f of xi means product of these two 1 into 0 0.5 plus 2 into 0 0.5. See here 1 into 0 0.5 plus 2 into 0 0.5. This is summation of xi into f of xi, right? Uh, so, by calculating this one, you will get expectation of x is equal to 1.5, and expectation of y is similarly this into this plus this into this plus this into this, right? So, yi g of yi minus 3 into 0 0.4, 2 into 0 0.3 plus 4 into 0 0.3. So, expectation of y you are getting 0 0.6 value. Then expectation of x y. So there is a formula, but uh, short trick to calculate expectation of x uh, sorry expectation of x y is equal to one into minus three into this probability zero point one. See here one into minus three into zero point one. Okay. Then one into two into zero point two. One into two into zero point two. Then one into four into zero point two. One into four into zero point two. I hope you are getting. First of all, you should uh, multiply this one with uh, this minus three and zero point one. 1 into 2 into 0 0.2, 1 into 4 into 0 0.2, this is 1. Then next, 2 into minus 3 into 0 0.3, 2 into minus 3 into 0 0.3, 2 into, sorry, 2 into 2 into 0 0.1, 2 into 2 into 0 0.1, and this 2 into 4 into 0 0.1, 2 into 4 into 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So by calculating this much, you will get expectation of xy is equal to 0 0.3. Then Covariance, covariance of x comma y is always equal to expectation of x y minus expectation of x and expectation of y. So expectation of x y we calculated 0 0.3 minus expectation of x is 1.5. So 1.5 multiplied by expectation of y is 0 0.6. So multiplied by 0 0.6, which is equal to by calculating this much, you will get 0 minus 0 0.6. For dependent system, 
covariance should be equal to 0 but we are getting here negative value minus 0 0.6 so I can conclude that uh, this uh, covariance of x y is equal to minus 0 0.6 it is not equal to 0 therefore x and y are not independent over here okay so this is all about uh, today's problem this is the solution for this particular problem i hope this is clear to you people so make sure you will share it with your all friends my dear friends so thanks for watching the video